Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Go check out and see what's in the fridge today. I guess I could stop about Greg's beer reviews today. Today's beer, and I'm gonna butcher this up. This is a this is a, a beer from Norway, and I've reviewed some of their beers before, and everything's usually pretty top notch as far as I'm concerned. I call it Nagano, and it's probably not how it's pronounced. It's N O G N O G N E, then a space, then an O with a slash to it. So I mean, uh, they. Uh, they write and pronounce things a little different on the other side of the pond than we do, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but that's how the old redneck hillbilly country boy pronounced it. It looks like Nagano, so that's what we're going to call it, Nagano. Uh, this is a winter ale. It is uh, God Jewel in every other country except for the USA, and that's spelled G-O-D-J-U-L. So here in the United States, it's got the same label and everything except it's it's written winter ale on this one where it's, uh, the reviews just says it's, uh, it's under that alias. So uh, I'm going to read a little bit here in the, off the bottom. It says winter ale is 8.5 ABV, uh, the uh, dark ale brewed, uh, especially for the winter months with a rich, complex taste of caramel. Recommended starting temperature uh, 53 degrees. Great with cheeses or nuts, ingredients, Munich caramel, black uh, lager, and chocolate malt. Hops are Chinook, Columbus, and Centennial, and the English Ale Yeast, and our local Grimstad water. So, and you got to realize, a lot of these, where these beers are made, different parts of the world, different parts of the country, different, different states, or even different counties in the same state, have different water. I mean, it depends on where it comes from, and the hardness of it, and all that. And that has an effect on different styles of beer. A lot of people don't realize... Uh, Budweiser, if Budweiser made where it's at now, uh, in St. Louis or wherever, or in Tampa or, or Williamsburg, whichever place, uh, I don't know if they use the water there or they do some kind of special purification processes for those beers. If you was to build, brew that beer in England or Norway and use their water, it would taste different than what it tastes uh, with the water over here or the filtering processes they use. Water hardness and calcium and all the ingredients and mineral content has an effect on how the beer tastes. So, with uh, that little tidbit, we'll just get on with the show. English Porter, like I said, 8.5. Uh, I'll give you the, the ingredients of that. Uh, it's 30 IBUs uh, on the bitterness on this. Food pairings, cuisine, barbecue, and Latin America. And the cheeses are earthy, counterburnt, fontina. And the meat for this is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, grilled meat. Uh, all your grilled stuff and your stronger dishes are going to go with this. So this must be a pretty uh, roasty beer uh, with that, all that stuff. The uh, glass around the pint, the Becker the Stein, the mug. I've got the Dubell glass. This is 8.5%. So once we get to that that uh, ABB, I'd like to use this uh, Dubell glass. It gets the aromas and stuff out. So let's get this thing open and see what we got. I have been, uh, I've been pretty pleased with all the beers from these guys so far, and I still have two or three more down out of the even bigger beers than this. I know I've got two or three more that's 9, 10, 11, I think there's a couple of them, the ones that's in the cans down there, 15 and 18 percent beers, so they're going to keep for years and years and years. That's why you, you keep seeing those beers on the, the fridge videos, eh, the same beer's been there for six months, eight months, you know, those are the bigger beers. Uh, <laughs> there's no hurry on those. A lot of times uh, those beers get better with age, uh, and you know, if you've seen any of my reviews, I'm not a huge fan of those beers once they get above 10, 11 percent, because it's all booze just about. I mean, I'm just not a big fan of that big boozy taste. Uh, the beer is very, very dark. I mean, it is as dark as you spot oil. And I can't see any light whatsoever through it. And poured it fairly aggressive. Not extremely, but enough to 
give us a good one finger of head in the dewbell glass. A lot of bubbles, uh, I can see streaming, little small bubbles streaming up to the bottom of the head there from the glass there. Well, looks good. Looks like a, uh, looks like a winter ale or a stout or, or a rich porter. Let's get a nose on it. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get uh, roasty, caramel -y. A little spiciness in there, too. The English, uh, the English ale yeast is a little different. I was expecting something uh, a little different than that. And the hops aren't as strong as with, with the Centennial and the... Uh, Columbus and Chinook hops in this. I was expecting just a little bit heavier on the hops. But it's not. It's more on the malty side to me. The nose is, anyway. It smells very nice. Cheers, guys. A little bit of alcohol in there. Of course, it's almost... No, it's eight and a half percent, so a nice rich it's got a nice rich just coffee chocolate taste. To me the booze is up on the front of the tongue. Then it gets gets more more rich and malty on the on the tongue as it goes down. Very, very nice. be an excellent beer to sit by the fire and sip on. Wow. That's a that's an excellent beer. That is an excellent that's way above average. That's very tasty. Very tasty. Just a little bit of the alcohol coming through but wow it's it's almost nine percent so you're gonna get eight and a half so well I like this a lot. I think uh, the other half will too stick around we're gonna let it warm up and sip on it and I'll be right back but it's this could get a good, this could get an A guys. Let's, uh, let's see where this ends up. Stick around. Be right back. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. This is an excellent beer. This is most excellent. If this wasn't uh, a little on the pricey side here, I would drink this all the time. Uh, according to the availability, since it says a winter ale, this is delicious. As it warmed up, the alcohol adds to the taste. It's excellent. And, it, and of course, I know this is a fresh bottle. And uh, this is a brand new edition of this. And it's not old, I know that. But it does not have a date that I can see on the bottle itself. And I don't see anything on the label. The tells other than a barcode which winter that it is from so that is the only downgrade that I can see and I don't see anything digitized or etched on the bottle and you know, which is really odd since this comes from Norway and uh, all the stuff over there has dates on it I mean it has some kind of digitized engraving on it somewhere to let you know uh, either whether a Julian code or, or whatever to uh, let you know how old the beer is and they send it over here and they ain't got to do that I guess so I don't, I don't know and that's probably the only reason I'm not going to give it to a better mark than I am this is going to be a 9 probably so let me do a final chug wow I really 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 like this beer it is really tasty it would be a 10 if it had a date on the bottom I know it's not quite as important. It's eight and a half percent, and it says, "Why are you worried about it? You know it's this year." Yeah, but yada yada yada. I want the damn date, guys. Put the date on the bottle. That way, I can put it in the refrigerator, and if I don't come back five years from now, I want I want to know whether it was a 2011 edition or 2012 or 2010. Put the date on the bottle. Don't make me get a piece of tape out and write on the bottle what year I bought it in. That's horse hockey. That's the only downgrade I got on this beer. Everything else, what's inside the beer, gorgeous, excellent. Very tasty. Roasty malt. 
very sweet. You got a little bit of coffee. You got a little bit of chocolate going on there. A nice strong ABV. It smells a little stronger in the nose when it was cold, but it enhanced the beer as it got warmer. So very delicious beer, guys. If you see this and you can get this beer, pick it up, give it a try. Especially if you like the darker beer, like a uh, this is an English style porter, but. It's got a lot more taste than most of the English porters or English stouts or even the Irish stouts have got as far as I'm concerned. But it's eight and a half. It's hard to compare a five percent beer of that uh, style to an eight and a half or a nine percent. It's going to have a lot more taste and a lot more character than this one does, guys. See it? Pick it up. I'm flapping. Got to get out of here. Guys, come on back tomorrow. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.